Krishna, 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 day finally arrived. The people of Mathura uttered quiet prayers in anticipation of their saviour. Devaki and Vasudeva prayed fervently that this child would not be yet another victim of Kamsa's wrath. <laughs> It was the month of Shravana and the eighth day of the waning moon. A gentle wind blew, caressing the earth. Lotuses danced in the lakes. The trees were in full bloom and the waves of the sea seemed to make music. Midnight hour approached, a deep roll of thunder, louder than the roar of the ocean, rumbled across the sky. It began to rain. Inside the prison cell, a little past midnight, the eighth son of Devaki was born. The clouds grew dark and heavy And the rains poured strong and steady As the clouds grew dark and heavy And the rains poured strong and steady And the midnight hour of Shravan Rang a cry from the mouths of heaven Krishna 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 A child of wonder joy and beauty A child of radiance dark and dusky A child of wonder joy and beauty a child of radiance dark and dusky two dancing eyes that shone with wonder What a beautiful baby! How I wish I could hold him! But these chains... As soon as he uttered the words, lo and behold, the chains fell off miraculously. The doors of the prison opened wide. The guards had all fallen asleep. Quick, give me the baby, Devaki. I will take him to our friend Nanda in Gokul. He will be safe there. Devaki bundled up the little child in a cloth. She kissed him and with tears in her eyes handed him to Vasudeva. Take care, my lord. Devaki whispered. Sudeva quickly placed the child in an empty basket. With the basket on his head, he ran past the sleeping guards. Outside, the rain had become heavier. But what a miracle this was! Not a drop of water touched the sleeping child. It was as if there was an invisible umbrella protecting him. Vasudeva ran to the bank of the river Yamuna. On the other side lay Gokul. But the Yamuna was in full spit. Deep and turbulent, it rose to touch the child's feet as if in respect. And then it suddenly sank low. Its waters just caressed Vasudeva's ankles. Crossing the parted waters of the Yamuna, Vasudeva reached Goku.
In Gokul, Nanda's wife Yashoda had just given birth to a baby girl. Both mother and child were fast asleep when Vasudeva arrived. Vasudeva put the basket down quickly and placed his son next to Yashoda. With tears in his eyes, he kissed his son goodbye. Then he took Yashoda's daughter back to Mathura, to Kamsa's prison. Adorable and mischievous, Krishna captured everyone's hearts. He would steal butter from homes, drink the milk right out of the cow's udders, tease the gopikas mercilessly, steal their clothes while they bathed in the river, and constantly trouble Yashoda. Every day, Yashoda received many complaints from other mothers. Yashoda, my pot of butter is empty again. I caught your Krishna, his mouth smeared with the butter. Yet, he denies stealing it. My cows won't give milk anymore until they hear his flute, Yashoda. All they do is shake their heads and moo. What spell has your little one cast on them? My Krishna? Never. How can you say that? She doted on this dark child of hers and could not bear to hear these things said about him. True, Yashoda. Yesterday, Krishna and his friends stole my sari as I bathed and would not give it to me until the evening. I had to stay in the river almost all day. Look, I've got a cold. Is this any way to raise your son? Poor Yashoda. What could she do? Tired of the complaints, she tied Krishna to a heavy mortar of stone. There! That will teach you to go stealing butter from other people's homes. Don't I give you enough milk? Do you have to drink it from the cows? But Ma, the cow called me and asked me to taste her milk. How could I refuse? Never mind, Yashoda. He's a child after all. <laughs>
so cunning. He's the best. He's a pleasure. He's a delight beyond measure. He steals butter from my home and then comes to ask for more. But when I catch him, he just grins and in an instant I give in. Krishna, his family, and all the cowherds moved to Vrindavan in search of fresh pastures for their cows. With them came Balarama. Do you remember that the seventh child of Devaki and Vasudeva had been saved? That was Balarama, Krishna's brother and also his best friend. The river Yamuna flowed through the meadows of Vrindavan. In the waters of the Yamuna, there lived the five-headed Kaliya, the king of serpents. One day, Krishna and his friends took their cows to graze near the river. Some of the cows drank the water from the river and died instantly. Krishna, said Balarama, our cows are not safe here. As long as Kalya lives, he poisons the river. Do not worry, Balarama. I will take care of Kalya. said young krishna confidently krishna headed towards the yamuna on the river bank a tall kadamba tree grew krishna dived into the water from the top of the tree kaliya immediately swam towards krishna spreading its hood it caught hold of the little boy and coiled its entire length around him then with its five heads it spat its dreaded venom on him and dug its fangs deep into his arm the poison turned the river a murky blue on the shore krishna's friends looked on with horror wept balarama hari go bring nanda get some help the boys ran to fetch nanda and soon the entire village gathered on the river bank but lo and behold what a sight greeted their eyes Krishna was dancing on the heads of a meek Kaliya while the waters of the Yamuna lashed the shore as if to provide the music Mathura will rise with a hope anew as Mr dreams come true Krishna 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 Krishna
Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna Krishna